Now let me give you a point of reference. If you have a problem with an employee or some service matter or something, don't ever just think that that's the final word. You see, I had a problem because I spent $4,000 on getting my car taken care of and I chose to go here. Now, I've been here, I've been in the showroom and I have looked at the vehicles that I want and I like it. I like the people here. And the person who dealt with me with my car when it was in an accident was very nice. Got through with my car easily. Today wasn't their day. When I explained to him that I had outer wear on my tires and I had to replace two of them at least, so all four, after only six months of having my front end taken care of completely, it was ripped off during an accident, he didn't get out of his chair to talk to me. Now he might, he might be having a bad day. But I decided that I was not going to just walk away from the issue. It wasn't going to make it stink. So I came here and I talked to the manager. And the manager, I explained to him what was going on. Told him I wanted to understand. And that the person just wouldn't get out of their seat. Now, they might be having a bad day. But I talked to the manager. If you don't talk to the manager and tell them what's going on, they can't resolve the issue. Now, that man took the time to talk to me, find out, pull me in here. These guys here took care of me and boom, we're done. So when you have an issue with one person, remember it might be a bad day for that person. They might not be communicating properly. But one thing you definitely wanna do, is you definitely wanna to talk to the manager, definitely. And then tell them what's going on, what you think, what you wanna know. Because all I wanted to know is, when I have outer wear on my tires on both sides and I had the front end replaced, what could possibly be the problems? Turned out it wasn't a front end alignment like I thought it was. I had defective tires. Didn't know that because my front end was proper. They did do the proper job, but that man didn't get up and even look at my tires or anything. He was having probably a bad day because he did me right the first time. So I came here and I talked to the manager his name is Adam, and I spoke with Adam, and Adam, who's also a former salesperson, understood what my concerns were, what I wanted to know. And so he took me on and explained and had these guys look. Sure enough, it wasn't something they did wrong. I had defective tires. But you got to talk to the manager. Don't accept limitations because if I had walked away and said I'm not going to do any more business here I would have lost another place because I wasn't willing to talk to the person remember do what Christ would do what would Jesus do he would actually take the time and talk to the man give him the benefit of the doubt give him the benefit of the doubt he might be having a bad day I went from there to here and parked my vehicle I'm not going to accept this I want to understand, you need to make sure that you're doing things the way Christ would want you to do them. That man had a bad day. He took care of me the first time. Today, he's having a bad day. He didn't feel like getting out of his chair. It wasn't raining when I talked to him. It wasn't raining at all. But Adam took care of me. So I'm gonna give a shout out to this place in Roseville because it's a really good place. Don't let yourself be limited. Talk to the manager.